right, so here he is, the killer gorilla, longtime middleweight contender, Jared Cannonier. And how do you assess the career to this point in time? Well, only two guys to beat him in the last five or six years, Robert Whitaker and Israel Adesanya. So most of the fights, like this one tonight, that Jared Cannonier is expected to win, he has held serve and done just that. If there has been any knock on Cannonier, it's that his game just hasn't been quite a lead enough when the challenges have been the guys at the top of the division. But Cannonier is world class. He has realized success in three different UFC divisions. And even though he's coming up on 40, don't let the age fool you. That's just a number. This guy looks a whole lot better with his shirt off than me. We're ready to battle as he tries to take home the title. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jamar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Unbelievably. Just so wise. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now to get us started with the introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Jared the Killer Gorilla Cannonier. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight Champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Herb Dean, our referee Ready, for fight. this one. Ready. Good. All right, early round action here as we get another look at the killer gorilla, Jared Cannonier. He's a five-tool player. He's got submissions, he's got knockouts, he has cardio, very good in transition as well. Hasn't been able to get over the proverbial hump when it comes to realizing a UFC middleweight championship, but he believes this is the fight and this is the matchup that's gonna get him to the promised land. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. It got checked. All right, the killer gorilla, Jared Cannonier, getting that jab working here pretty early, DC. And a power jab. I mean, everything about Jared Cannonier is power. You look at him, you can tell that the guy is just insanely powerful. But it's his jab that is his trigger to do everything going forward in every fight that he's in. So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy. Back and forth. This is a full-on brawl, DC. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. raise the hands and he's doing a nice job protecting the dunk. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times those shots to the head will knock you out. 
Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Nice. Nicely done. All right, there's that switch kick, DC. He switches his feet really fast, sees the reaction of his opponent, then he chooses where he's going to land a strike. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Throwing that jab, no good. Oh, punches in bunches as he lands another combination there. Really doing a nice job stringing his shots together. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attacks. Great job finding different places for his strikes to land. Side kick. Oh, a huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. The Cannoneer's shot there is blocked. So we pull up the numbers for you here. How about this, DC? 34 total strikes have landed for Jared Cannon. Two minutes remain in the round. Leg kick. Wow, he lands another leg kick. Man, that leg kick looked like a Louisville slugger as Jared Cannonier lands to the lead leg of his opponent. Jared Cannonier always had power, but now he's developed the skills to match. He moved down to Arizona, got out of Alaska, got with a real team, and now you're seeing the advantages of being in an area where you're getting some of the best coaching and also having great training partners. see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body. He hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Oh, nice. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Lee's nose is bleeding now. Yet, oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to get an follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Dictating the fight, landing punches like that. 20 seconds left. Cannoneer gets hit with a kick. Lee's eyes starting to swell now. Oh, a little single collar tie there. That oh. horn sounds oh. means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. Is every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring. And then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead of him. You ready? You ready? Go. Second round on the way. My right, next round is now on the way. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their... Oh, yeah, yes. on that punch right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. All right, side control now. Ground and pound keeps coming. Good movement to avoid that damage coming down. 
Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between nights. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. We'll see what he does here. He postures up and lands to the head. Quick hit movement there, and he does indeed get back to his feet nicely done. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. He can't even stand. Oh, man, what a strike from the bottom. Lands another strike upstairs, and for his opponent, that is certainly not going to help matters when it comes to the swell. He can't miss, J.A., and when you saw the swelling initially, you knew that he needed to change something. He still has not changed that, and while it's getting worse, it's still not at a point where we should panic. But a few more, and he's going to find himself in a dire situation. Neon Belly, big strikes landing here. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater, punches and punches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list this performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Nice positional control here. Oh, the ground and pound is coming. Good movement to avoid some of that power coming back. These are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to fold him. Yep, there absolutely. Man, that is loud. Another strike lands for the kickboxer. He really found that flow state pretty early in this fight, and he hasn't looked back. He found it really early. And when this guy gets into his groove, he is hell on wheels, and right now he is showing why he is such a high-level, high-regarded kickboxer. He is outclassing this guy. Lee's blocking pretty well now, so an adjustment made by the fighter to protect that already significantly damaged nose. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. His back's open. Take the back. 90 seconds to go in round two. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Lee's in half guard. Good, solid strike on the ground. Now it's his mouth. He's a big shot, and they're not glancing blows. When he's throwing, he is landing so clean that his head is starting off the mat. Oh, reverses the position there. Nice transition by Cannoneer. Great ground and pound by this man. Oh, heavy shots continue to rain down. Oh, huge pop from the crowd as the fighters get back up to their feet. I mean, you and I love a good grappling match, but these fighters came to see knockouts. Yeah, the, the fans came to see them knock each other out, and that's what they're going to get. All the connections right on the gut, DC. He's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight moves are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. Inside leg kick is there. Oh. Two rounds in the books. Oh. Wow, what a round it was. There's the horn, two knockdowns. Certainly a 10-8 is plausible. We'll see if his opponent can make some adjustments here. It's gonna be tough. J.A., I thought it was over. Yes. I thought it was over. I was yelling, it's over, it's over. After the first knockdown, dude gets up and gets knocked down again. He understands now he has a very tough competitor in front of him, but he needs to stay patient, go find another big shot. But one perfect shot shuts the lights off. It's only gonna take one of those to finish the fight. All right, well, the crowd enjoyed those five minutes. DC, take us through some of the highlights from that previous one. Face punching at its best. Ha. He loaded it up. He threw it straight. He threw it long. And over and over, that punch 
found the target. It allowed him to really dictate the pace of that round. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Clean punch. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Lee. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Straight punch there again. Been there all night. Able to check that kick as well. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends. Oh, 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 this fight's gonna be over. What a great play! Oh, All right, the decision is inside the octagon. We send it to the veteran voice. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, two seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Jared the Killer Gorilla. All right, so we got a new UFC heavyweight champion and potentially